Hello everyone and welcome to episode 89. In this specific episode, what, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be focusing in on an app called Todoist. And for those who already watch my channel, you would have known what Todoist is. It's a task management application. And within Todoist, I'm going to focus specifically on t recurring tasks. And for those who don't know what recurring tasks are, are tasks similar to kind of check your email, um, you know, feed the dog, things like that, that basically happen every day. It could be every hour. It could be every week, things like that. So things that completely uh, repeat itself and are continuous throughout a large period of time. And the benefit to Todoist is it gives you the ability and functionality to do something like this. So if I'm just using Todoist on Chromebook. So if you simply go press Q, that's just open up a new task. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to demonstrate. So maybe I'm going to say email personal, e um, oh, check personal emails. I already have one for this and I can show you a few um, of these. So what you do is you simply go and due date. Um, I'll give you, I'll click on this in a minute and show you a bit more of this. But what you simply do is you start type in every day. So there's more ways you can do this specifically. You can actually have every day. So if I click here, it will come up every day. Even if I take it off, it will go into tomorrow and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the other benefit is that you can use a lot of these other um, types of recurring dates because this, you know, this is not just every day. Um, there could be much more. So you can start things like every Monday, could be every Friday, could be every Saturday, um, and it will do it every Saturday, you know, et cetera. Um, you could do other ones like every day at one o'clock or every day um, on th every th every three days, um, every 13th of May, every last day of the month, every second Monday of the month, every weekday, uh, every day at 2.30 starting the 1st of January, uh, every three days starting next Monday. So let me just demo a few of these. So let's say every three days starting... Um, May 1st, 2016. So if you can see, that's crazy. So it's going to come up every Monday on May 1st, off every Monday from May 1st, um, every three days, every three days starting May 1st, which is crazy. It's fantastic. So you've got a lot of functionality around this and you can have a big play around with it too. Um, there's more kind of those, obviously you're going to get repeatedly ones um, so you can do monthly ones too. So you can go every month. Um, so every three months you could do them. So you could even say like, um, you could change the task and go, uh, pay bill for car insurance. And obviously that might be a, a, a nine monthly thing. So you could say every nine months and it would come up. And then if I ticked it off, it would come up. Yep, there you go. So 17th of February, 2016, 279 days away every month. That's a fantastic feature there. And I love this specifically because you can play around a lot with it. I'll just show you now how I utilize this feature in my day. So if you look here, uh, you can see some tasks I have. So I have every push-up, uh, do a five push-ups every day, text something nice to my dad, um, as a recurring task. I also have, you know, those every four or five day tasks that are specific to work. And also, you know, chat with the productivity community every day because that comes up. And also utilize it for my personal email. So it's really, really useful and really, really beneficial to do something like this. Uh, once you start playing around with it, once you work out what your kind of routines are, you have huge ability. So let me just go through quickly what some of the recurring tasks are. So you can have it every day, every Monday, uh, every, you know, every day at 1 p.m., every seven days, every 7th of May, whatever you want, whatever day, every three days starting next Monday, every day at 2.30 starting 1st of January, every second Monday, every last day, every month, every two months. Um, and you can even specifically have days. So you can go every Monday and, and comma Friday at 8 p.m. So both of them will come up, which is awesome. So I hope this episode will be useful. I think you should definitely play around with these. See what tasks come up a lot um, because you might find yourself actually taking a task and five minutes later going, oh, I've got to re-add it again or, oh, this one's coming up quite commonly. It could be even email um, or anything like that. 
So it's a perfect opportunity to actually reduce time on administration when it comes to that. So guys, thanks very much for watching. And I really want to make sure you have a great week and keep productive.